Hello, welcome to my next video series. This is going to be on Lone Survivor, uh, a really cool little horror game that was released like nine years ago, maybe 2011 was it, or maybe slightly later, I'm not sure. But it was a long time ago, um, and I think it's really underknown. I don't know. I never hear about it. Uh, I don't think I see much content on it on YouTube, but it's such a good little game. Um, I really wish Jasper Byrne would get back to <laughs> making another one of these. Um, it's very much a Silent Hill inspired game. Um, also Resident Evil and probably many other horror games too, but um, it's a 2D sort of side-scrolling game. Um, so that's kind of the biggest difference, but um, you know, a lot of the music and the enemies and some of the way that it's it's presented is very Silent Hill and also Twin Peaks as well by David Lynch um, who happens to be one of my favourite directors and I think Jasper Byrne referenced him as well as one of his uh, favourite directors so yeah it's got a lot of things going for it for me obviously so I have played this before it's not, it's not a first time game but after the experience of Hollow <laughs> I really wanted to just play a game that I know is good and um, show people something that's really cool and this is it, Lone Survivor. Um, it's actually it controls just with the keyboard. Um, you use the arrows to move around and then you use some buttons on the left to um, shoot and do other things. <laughs> so let's get going. I think it's X to start. Got a really nice art style as well. Sure, with a raise the current game, because I don't remember what that is. The ritual. It's just got a little um, uh, thing at the beginning that tells you how to play. Firstly, for maximum immersion, ensure you're in a dark environment with no interruptions. Cannot uh, confirm either of those. Secondly, audio is an important part of the game, so be sure to use headphones or speakers turned up loud. I am wearing speaker. Uh, I'm wearing speakers strapped to my head. A lot of games include this kind of message, and it's like total nonsense. How um, you know how well developed the sound design is, um, but it's actually quite quite nice, quite nice in this. I mean, he makes the music as well. He's a musician and. and uh, I believe he, I don't know if he mixed or produced uh, music as well for other people, so I think he knows what he's doing with sound. Finally, um, what you need to see, see what you need to see. This is to adjust the gamma, I'll leave it up highest, I think, just to help the video recording, but it looks, it looks pretty dark anyway. One more thing, please pick the phrase which best describes you as a player. One of the few criticisms I have for this game is that the font is so low res and so big on the screen that it's kind of tricky to read. <laughs> I wish that the PC version had um, a slightly higher res. I think they ported this to the Vita as well, I think. Was it the Vita? But I didn't have a Vita at that point. I did have a Vita for like a year, or less than a year. <laughs> and it was a good console. It's a shame that it didn't really last, but um, it was a good console. I had to get rid of it because I was a student and I needed money at the end of the year, so I sold it. But uh, and I think this came out afterwards, but it would have been very good on, on the Vita. had a really cool, um, really nice screen. No, this setting cannot be changed. I think this is the difficulty. Um, I have to select the first one, quite really, because um, unfortunately the other one other issue I really have is that well, everyone really has, is that there's a bug, unfortunately, where if you select the harder difficulty and then save and reload, it'll default back to the earlier difficulty, um, which is a little irritating. Although it isn't, it isn't a very long game, so you can play through it in one go, but it does also mean that, you know, if you die, you die. Um, because it's, it is a proper survival horror um, in uh, low-res 2D mode, but if you die, you die. So you have to remember to save. My name is... It's not important anymore, I guess.
Used to know how long I'd been here. Now I've got no idea. He's talking about, obviously, the COVID-19 situation. That's why he's wearing a mask. Been a while since the outbreak started. That much I know. Holds up the sound of those things outside. Monsters, I guess you'd call them. Commuters of the people, they call them. As far as I know, I'm the only one left. The lone survivor. Can't go on much longer, though. Almost out of supplies. And if there's anyone else alive out there, I need to find them. If nothing else, I don't want to die alone. Here we are. Thank you. I like this fast the walking is as well. It's quite, it's very speedy. Beautiful music as well. Nice big chords there. Talk to the man who wears a box on. Yeah, who wears a box? <laughs> Why are you wearing a box? Busy watching that wall. Yes, he is. Look at the cup of coffee. Look at the armchair. It's just an armchair. Looks like a double espresso. I uh, have to drink it, so I'll drink it. I drink the coffee. Lovely. Lovely jubilee. I think I can hear something down there. I can hear the wind moving around my headphones. That scratchy sound. What's going on here? Damn, it's one of those things. Don't think it can see me. Wait, looks like there's a hiding spot just behind it. Let's see if I can sneak past. So yeah, you see these divots in the wall? You can hide in them, and then slowly uh, kind of shimmy along. Otherwise they will grab you and do some good damage. Uh, cool lighting effects too in this game. I really like the art style as well. It's real like pure in a way. No, it's obviously got loads of filters on it. It's sort of simple, but, and but you know, really kind of works. Talk to her. Cause it's the back of some some chick holding something. Hello. Are you okay? What's that you're holding? That's what I'd like to know. And she's gone. But I did get a pocket torch. A torch, as we call it in the UK. You know what? The guy's English as well, and he betrayed his people and used Americanisms <laughs> to appeal to a mass audience. How embarrassing. Damn, my head. Got a pounding headache. Damn, night terrors again, <laughs> instead of nightmares. So we call them no better than the days. Well, good morning, flashlight, my old friend. It's time to face the outside world game saved. So pick up green pill. Got some kind of green medicine. So these pills, I forget exactly what they do now, but there's kind of an interesting mechanic. Because obviously in a survival horror you have the very po real possibility of getting to a point and just not having enough ammo or health to do it to win and you have to start again. Um, this game kind of circumvents that by having a sort of uh, a way of regenerating your health and, and getting ammo by sleeping and using these particular tablets to like visit a dream place and where you get ammo and health, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and I think also saving as well is to use the bed, so it's kind of a, a good uh, 
central hub of the game and it's in the cupboard. There's something written on the door and faint chalk. Read it. Ah, it's the I actually do need to remember that <laughs> read this because I don't know. Okay, interaction shoot, weapon mode. So it's kinda like Resident Evil where you you know raise your weapon. Um walk space to open the inventory. Save your game, you use the bed. F is flashlight. Ah, oh, quick weapon reload. M enter map. Gamma aspect. Aspect. Do I want to press that? I don't know what that is. O N? O X. Q is it Q? <laughs> QX? Oh, it's not aspect ratio, it's oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, it's W. See, that's why the font's a bit daft. I think it was good where it was. <laughs> no. Oh no, I need to get it back. I think that's okay. Right. Use fire escape. Ah, uh, it's locked. I need a key to open it. Let me go back to these again. I'm an idiot. I need to go back to the last page. So, fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, one ignite flare, two place Roy and meat, three drink health tonic. That's a really good thing to remember because that helps a lot in combat. Um, okay, one is flare, two is meat, three is tonic. And E is you can switch to expert mode, but. I don't actually know if that works. Does it? Hmm. Try it, but. We, the survivors, praying for in 203. This is all that's on the radio. It's, what's in the fire escape? Nothing, it's locked. Need a key to open the fire escape. Got a battery there. Oh, that is the thing, actually. The torch does use batteries. It's faded, been here a long time, I guess. Look at the coat. Don't know whose it is. Look at the dusty mirror. I don't want to look deeply into the mirror just yet, because stuff just happened. What's this? Shoes. These aren't mine. Okay. Yeah, the torch does use um, batteries. They're one of the key like resources, I guess. Key to 206, so that's where I left it. Okay. Stove, I don't remember it happening, but it's run out of gas. I'll have to find some more. So cook food for health. And I think maybe other effects, but I can't quite remember. Look at the washing machine. Some kind of cat plush on here. Might as well take it. Pick up piece of paper. Diary page, I have to go into the inventory. Ah, here we go. Look at. Read. Diary page one, it reads. Can't trust any of them anymore. Any of those bastards could be diseased. There's only one way to survive this, and that's to put a bullet in every last one of their heads. <laughs> awfully, awfully relevant. Although I have to say, I don't think it's nearly as problematic as people have made it to be, but we all know what I'm saying is the truth. Let's not try and deny it anymore. I'll be waiting with the survivors. There's a name at the bottom. Draco. I don't know the person who wrote this. I'm more interested in the other survivors, if there are any. Left alive after that psycho went around. It's a very interesting looking picture on the wall. What's the smell? Even with my mask on, it's making me dizzy. Take what's inside, let's see what it is. I can hardly bear to touch this, it's piles of rotting meat. I'll take six pieces of meat for now, it's the most I can handle. Yeah, meat's actually used to distract enemies. Which is good. It's locked, I need a key to open it. Great. Use the key to 206. So I'm in 206, okay. Do I not have a map? I should probably get some sleep before I go out there. I don't want to get to forget what I'm doing. M doesn't do anything, so I don't think I have the map yet. Oh, there we go. Map to the wing court, second floor. Mm -hmm. Looks like something's already marked on here. Let's take a look. OK, 
Okay, so 203, that's a question mark. That was Chi, Chi's place, Chai's place. Chai, let's say. Wasn't it? Why would anyone mark it on here? I'll try and make my way there anyway. Okay, Chai's place. So I'm down at the bottom on my little uh, cyan sort of dot. So I have to move around because I don't think this door opens. Oh, yeah, that letter that was pinned to the map. Okay, I'll read it. Might as well read the letter then. Old letter, don't set off without a map. Even if you do know your way around, things keep changing, you see. By the way, I think I have a way to get past those things. I worked out they're attracted to the stench of decay. When I'm having trouble getting past them, I leave some rotting meat down to one side of a hiding spot. Then I can hide as they come toward me. It's best to avoid them, you see. There's no signature on it. So that explains the meat thing. If only they hadn't locked it when the outbreak started. Ugh, so I can't go that way. It's too dark. Let's plant. I think I can... Hi, Chuck. There you go. Classic reference. Um... Yeah, you see... There you go, play some meat. And he'll shamble his way past me. Because I don't even have a gun yet, I don't think, so... Actually, I forget what the... Z? C? Yeah, no, I don't have a gun. Uh, they actually see you if you're in light as well, I think. Or if you have your torch on, they'll see you from a distance. Otherwise, it's anyone. Let's try again later. Otherwise, it's only when you're close. I can't go through that door. Um, but I can go through this one. Look at shelves. Some good books in their collection. Borrowed a few in my time. And you do need the torch on to be able to uh, see things as well, sometimes. There's monster bad. I think it's a good idea to use someone else's bed. Yeah. Crumpled old note. Oops, wrong one. Space. Old note. Read. I strongly advise against listening to Draco. The man's a danger to what's left of society. He may be right that you need to defend yourself when there's no other solution. But what I'm trying to say is there are usually other ways around the problem than violence. Think on it. There's no signature at the bottom. I don't really know what these mean, but there are multiple endings, so it might be... There might be like a... You know... Um... Like pacifist ending where <laughs> you don't shoot any any enemies, I'm not sure. They only make things here. You're coming. Oh, he doesn't wear shoes because they only make uh, the enemies hear you. Let's go through here. Try and save my... well, <laughs> I say that. I'm trying to save my torch, but... Look at the toilet. Disgusting. Nice. Look at the bath. I don't even want to imagine how this happened. Look at the hole. No, it's just my imagination. What the hell is that? Can enter the hole. Um, guess I can do it. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, well, I went back by accident, so let's go through <laughs> through the hole. Pretty scratchy uh, effects going on. Kind of weird backdrop. Ah, <laughs> nice. Uh, Shaders and stuff as well. I actually think, if I'm not mistaken, this game was made in Flash. There's no way this is still in my apartment block. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, there was something to read there, but I didn't do it. Well, I do, you do walk faster than them, which is good, but they sound fucking intense. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Everything's kind of slowing down. Man. I'm through. I thought it was never going to end. Hey, there's another mirror. It's just like the one in my apartment. And I'm shattered. Oh, yeah, you get tired as well. I can't see it. Okay. Bag of prawn crackers. 
Dried squid on a stick, Jesus Christ. Imagine eating that after it's uh, been God knows where. Or a cool reflection effect. Yeah, so you do get tired as well. And I can't remember what effects that has, but you need to drink coffee and stuff to stay awake or sleep. I'm at the other side of that guy, right? Yeah, I literally just went to the other side of this uh, corridor because there's a huge gaping hole in the middle. Damn, I'm going to have to creep past this one. Yeah, I need to wait for it. Sneak past. Uh, the sound effects are pretty cool. And they do tell you where they are as well, so that's kind of why the headphones are good. I think this is entrance to 204, but the number's been removed. It's locked. Maybe I should try later. <laughs> Ooh, I thought it was going to walk straight into me. <laughs> Made it. To the end of the corridor. Look at the stairs. Hmm. They're destroyed. There's no way I'm getting down there. I'll have to try the other side of the building. I feel pretty beat. Yeah, so he's exhausted apparently. Oh. Pick up pieces of paper. Whoopsie doozy daisy. Pa diary page three. It reads I only come out at night. That simple common sense. They're more docile and there's less of them about. I found if I pop them right in the head with my colt, they fall to the floor like sacks of skinny jelly. Other thing I noticed is once they get up in your grill, it's best to shoot them in the legs so they back off a bit. It's satisfying too. And it's Draco. Again. I think. Oh. Green medicine. Oh, it's blocked. Let's find another way around. Thanks. Thanks for the info. Okay. That's cheese place, or choice please. Not going to my bedroom yet. <laughs> yet. Weird old doll, nice. Just books and a few papers inside. Look at the bed. It's got a woman's touch. It smells of perfume, so I'm not looking in there. Okay. Not a big fan of perfume either, <laughs> gotta say. Uh, I think there might be mothballs in there, I don't like them. Like I literally get feel sick when I walk past like soap shops and stuff. You get those like expensive soap candle places. Just a couple of coat hangers, okay. Don't need anything from the bathroom. Yeah, but I wanna go in. Okay. I think it's New York Skyline. I was saying it was there like twin towers. <laughs> um, talk to Chai. Talk to Benzido. Talk to Kenny. Let's talk to Kenny. Why are you just sitting around at a time like this? Lovely party, isn't it? A lovely party? What are you talking about? I said lovely party, my man. You're insane. There's monsters out there. Didn't you notice what's happened to the world? Nothing apart from the usual crap. It is a great party. Uh, it's not really my cup of tea, I guess. Standing around with cocktails. Snap out of it! Kenny, please, snap out of it. Stop killing my buzz, man. I'm trying to help you. I'm warning you, there's things out there. Bad things all over the place. Well, everyone knows that, man. Tell me something I don't know. Think you're stressing about it too much. Sure. This music's very Twin Peaks. <laughs> you think it's safe to buy here? I feel pretty safe. Ha 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 ha. Forget it, I think. 
I wish you'd listen to me. Please remain calm, brother. Yeah, I think... What's this? Oh, it's the door. I thought I could examine the thing. Okay, talk to Chi. Uh, hi. Did you bring her doll? I don't want to talk about that. Talk about what? Okay, until you show me you can even hold it, let alone talk about it. I've got nothing else to say to you. Okay, can I go out here? We do have the doll, but... Okay, she's not letting me out there. Why? You know why not. I don't know what that means. I don't know why not. Well, I don't know why not. I guess he does. It's kind of the interesting <laughs> dichotomy of games. The player and the character. Uh, so I can give her the doll, right? Where is it? Doll! Let's have a look at it. It's a dusty purple old thing. Gives me the creeps. Nah. Dolls don't give me the creeps. Although it looks... I mean, it looks like a, I don't know, like Barney the Dinosaur or something. <laughs> the little pixelated thing. Let's give it to her. Here you go then. Thanks for that. I know it must have been hard for you. Don't know what you're talking about. You don't, huh? Well, I have what you asked for. Meet me outside when you're ready for it. I don't know what you're saying, but hey, why not? She's already out here. Hey, it's the hangar. Or it's a hangar. I'll look at view from balcony. I can see devastation for miles around. What happened here? How did this disease begin to spread? It makes me sick. Talk to Chi. It's okay, just take it. What the hell are you talking about? The gun over there. So you realize I need protection at least. I'm not one to judge. Okay. Well, get up. I got the handgun! And she's gone. <laughs> uh, now I feel a little safer, I guess. Wait, where'd she go? I don't know, man, but... Yeah, I know you need... Oh, I pressed X to get rid of it. Don't fire the gun. And I have no ammo to reload. Alright, let's go in here. And everyone is dead. Just as we predicted. Wait, where the hell am I? This is not good. I'm just saying, this isn't good. Ugh.